Hello, and welcome again to a new chapter, this in this case number 14, of Azure Support Academy. In this chapter, we are going to talk about distribution transactions. As you know, probably it's not it's not possible to use in a similar way to use this root transaction in a similar way that we have in SQL Server. So we are going to show you an example how to do it using .NET Code. My name is Jose Manuel Jurado. I'm a support escalation engineer in SQL Azure, site master in this technology and speaker in different events. Let me show you an example about how to run a distributed transaction in SQL Azure. So first of all, uh, this, uh, this code is in C Sharp. You need to download the last version of .NET. And we are going to, uh, we are going to show you how to do it. The first one is we, need, uh, we have a new object, it's uh, transaction scope, that uh, we maintain that we are going to, to, to have in this transaction the distribute transaction that we have. Okay, so we have transaction scope, and this will be uh, when the transaction will be completed. Okay, all the all modification that we have, connection that we are doing uh, from this point to this point will be assumed that it's um, a unique transaction, in a unique transaction to transaction in distribution mode. So we have uh, this connection, we are going to run this insert, and in the second connection, uh, we are going to, uh, in just only for demo pose, uh, depending, of, uh, depending on one value that we have here, it's true or not, uh, we are going to update one existing table that we have in the second uh, the secondary uh, database, or we don't have this. It's just only to show you how the process will be uh, will be run. So, uh, as we have the table here, the transaction will be completed, and as we don't have this table, uh, the transaction the transaction the distributed transaction has not been completed because it doesn't exist this table in the uh, secondary database. So we are going to run this demo. Okay, let's go with the example. So we have this server. This server we have uh, two tables, uh, two databases with two tables that right now is T1 with just only one field that is what goal and that is ID. Another one is ID. So let's try to open this table and review how many rows that we have here. We don't have any. And the second one. Yes, we don't have any. Okay, perfect. Let's try to open the, the code. Okay, we are going to start again. This is one application that I have in C code, C sharp code. Uh, I have some examples about some different some different things that we have in SQL and I explained before. Uh, depending on uh, the value that we are calling with this uh, this uh, function, uh, this the issue the execution will be uh, success or not. In the first one, we obtain the configuration string of the different uh, queries. We are going to use a transaction scope. Uh, I explained before; it's very very important. Uh, to use a retry logic. In this case, we are not using the retry logic, but please, if you have more information about what is the retry logic, what is the best practice uh, querying and connecting to SQL Azure, please review of Chapter 13 about best practice. Um, we are at this column, which establishes the connection against the connection to. And if we have the values, okay, Table T2 exists. We run the query, run the scope of completed. And if we go back to our database and we run this one, we, need, we have to wait some seconds. We have the value four here for the table T2 and the table T1 
we will have the value three. So, and let's try to uh, complete the operation. I'm going to move here. Change the execution to value false. So in this case, the view gates with value false. So in this case, my intention is try to demonstrate what happened when we have an error in the transaction. Suppose that a duplicate value, or in this case, the table uh, t not exists, doesn't exist in the in the database. So um, we try to insert one row that this in the table doesn't exist. We tried we uh, have a, an issue. We have that invalid object. Uh, this is values uh, inspected value because the, the table doesn't exist. And we are going to finish the process. Okay, the process has been finished. So let's try to open again our server. I'm going to execute in T1. We have just only value three, and in T2 we are going to go. So if the transaction has not been completed, the process has not been correctly uh, completed. So in this case, the transaction has been discarded. If you have any other questions uh, on that, please uh, feel free to send an email to jmjurado at microsoft.com. Thank you so much for attending this session. I will see you in another session. Bye.